Greetings, folks. Lance here. What we're looking at here are six EG4LL battery modules in a rack. And I've been in the process of trying to get the BMS tool software to read the modules. And I was just struggling to no end and finally broke down and called Signature Solar. Come to find out that the dip switches do not work correctly. And only one ID can be set. In this case, it's ID 2, which is the ID that was set for every module when I received it, which is probably what they did the testing on. If I set it to any other ID, it will not work. And because of that, we can't do a daisy chain and set the IDs differently to read all the modules at one time with the BMS tools. They are aware of this. So whatever ID was set when you received the modules, that's probably the only ID it will read. In this case, it's two, but it's not consistent. The tech that I spoke with said that some of the modules, uh, ID 64 works or ID 63, but more than likely, whatever ID was set when you received the modules, that's the one that'll work. And, you know, it's, it's one thing that this doesn't work. It's another that there was absolutely no information about this. No, no flyer with the modules, no flyer with the rack, no information on the website. Very frustrating. I, you know, I just assumed that I was doing something wrong. And I kept playing with it. And it. If they'd have just included a note with the package or whatever, something on their site, letting us know that, hey, a firmware update will come out and take care of this, whatever. I wouldn't have wasted so much time on this. So if you're struggling with getting BMS tools to read the IDs of your modules, your battery modules, uh, I have version 2. I think this may actually apply also to version one, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, some of the, maybe with uh, version one, you actually only have four dip switch settings here. Uh, version two has six. And I think they have a few variations. That's, that's why the ID is, is different for different modules as to what will actually work. In this case, it's ID2, and it could be something different for you. But if you're struggling with getting BMS tools to read your modules, that's why.